was contacted by a woman named Victoria. She claims to represent a client who was impressed by the way I took care of Ramirez and now wants me to steal something for him. The target is a magical sword owned by a nobleman and collector named Constantine. Little is known about Constantine except that he is an eccentric new face in the city and mostly keeps to himself. Victoria says the sword will probably be on display, but it will be well protected by guards and security systems. She also mentioned that the guards are tough and organized, and the mansion is confusing to navigate in. The house was constructed recently, so I've had to piece together my own map from observation and hearsay. Sounds like the place is a bit of a maze. I guess if you're rich enough, you can build any sort of madhouse to live in. This is going to be a challenging job, but it'll pay better than the last few I've taken. As usual, the front entrance is heavily guarded, but I've managed to find another way in. Of course, once I've picked up the sword, I'll still have to worry about getting back out. style of play that's like very conservative but that I suspect a lot of people prefer to play as which is uh Something. Everybody. oh great yeah right. ah! I've already messed up ah! yeah. ah! whoops So yeah, I should probably not try to get fancy here. Um, Alright, so the, our actual way in is not through the front, but through the side with a really cool little thing called a rope arrow. Shoot it into a wooden surface, any surface that an arrow will stick in, and then it dangles a little rope, which you can then jump on. Oh, wow, that, that 
guy heard me or saw me. <coughs> and I've already taken a little bit of fall damage. Because I fell down that ladder because it's a first person game made in the 90s. goodies. This is going to take us out on the first floor, which for a relatively early thief mission is uh, pretty rough stuff actually because uh, it's brightly lit. Oh, I suppose I could put that, that torch out there. This guy doesn't quite see me because my light jump is pretty dark. I'm standing in this dark doorway. <coughs> <clears throat> yeah, I really like to, uh, you end up passing through this section a lot. Alright, so that gets us a little bit more darkness. This is also kind of a good demo for the, for the arrow tools and stuff. I'm going to put down a moss arrow here, so that this area should be quite a while. Thought I something. Thought I saw something. So, that got us into this room. Uh, yeah, so this room is like a relative island of safety. We've got a spot of complete darkness right here. Um, can we try to pick this? I think this is a thing. Yes. Yeah, this place is full of fairly inconspicuous uh, treasure. really a place that you want to be. Um, however, the second floor is where things start to get a little weird. Um, I don't see why I should have to be the one down here in the cold and the dark and the damp. Yeah, overheard, overheard guard grumbling. Such a classic thing that the video game does. Okay, so this floor has almost no guards, but it is loaded with traps.
unfortunately, despite the fact that the walkers make a lot of fully noise. Um, they do not, the guards do not in fact hear you doing it. Everybody seems to be... Everybody seems to have found me. That's good. Yeah, you would really think somebody would hear that, but it's not. Oh, a deer leg. One bite. Garrett's amazing. So few dudes here on the second floor, but you never know when you're going to be taken by surprise. Is that you? Wait, who's that? Oh dear. You wait till I find you! The trap to kill one of those guys and it counts towards my, uh... Towards my don't kill anyone. <sighs> Alright, where are you? Thank <laughs> you. 